So we are in New Harmony, Indiana, doing our tour of this town. And behind me, you can see is their visitor center. Super cool building. But they have trails and they rent golf carts and they have all kinds of means to transport yourself through the town. But I think, and they also have a tour, a guided tour. Isn't that a cool building? They have a guided tour, but I think we're just gonna go on our own. We got a map of all the things to see and where they are located. And we will kind of learn the history of this town on our own. It looks like there's some cool stuff to see. We just gotta go find it. So, but I'm digging that building, that's, that's super cool. All right, well, we're gonna go buzz around and see what we can find, and we'll take you along when we find it. How's that sound? Sound good to you? Yep. All right. So there's that cool visitor center building thing. And now we're gonna take our little tour of the town. For a little while. For a little while, and then we're gonna find some food. Cathedral Labyrinth, Sacred Garden. You can't walk on the grass? Why not? Well, apparently you can't walk on the grass. Everything the world does is done in a circle. A circle. I did not know that. So we're going to, which is odd because the sidewalk's in the shape of a square. This is the circle they were referring to. So what do we have here? My bride is picture taking. It says something. What do those words mean? I do not know. Interesting. Is it a maze? Mm -hmm. Do you... I believe this is what the maze is that we're going to go to. Oh. So it's like a maze to get to the center. of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. The Fountain Reads stuff for So that's interesting. The water comes up there, circles around, goes down there, and then goes through there and down there. That's kind of cool. What do you think? It says Simon Bird from 1998. Thing just makes me want to go potty. So you can't go in without that, I guess. Oh, yeah?
pretty. Looks like there's a lot of gardens and things like that to see. Um, here at some point I'll do a little vague history lesson of this town and why these things are here. So here's kind of the history lesson of this town and why we came down here. And this is going to be, my version is going to be relatively borderline inaccurate and probably not perfect, but you'll get the idea. So from what I understand, there was a group of faith-based people. I don't know what religious sect they were. It was something Christian faith-based in the Pennsylvania area and they were looking for a location to establish a homestead, a town uh, for their group that would be a bit of a, I guess you could call it a religious euphoria. That was the words that they used. So they traveled down the Ohio River and wanted to have a place that was off of the Ohio River but where the Wabash River, near where the Wabash River and the Ohio uh, Rivers intersect. So they came about 10 miles north and they established this town called Harmony is what they called it. So they stayed here for quite some time and as the years went on they wanted to relocate. So they sold the rights to the town to another guy, can't remember his name, who wanted to set up a, a similar euphoria. They're over there cutting wood or something they're really loud. So they wanted to set up a similar euphoria, again the word they used, that dealt with education and art and culturalism. So they bought the rights to the town, called it New Harmony, and continued forward with their quest for their their similar um, euphoria location. That would have been the early 1800s. Hey this explains it all. There. Now you know. And then as the years go on, times change, um, people change, that sort of thing. But the history of the town is still here. And the people in New Harmony, they, uh, they thrive on the history of what this town started as. And uh, they try their best to maintain the historical aspects of the town. So that's what we're doing. That's why we're here. That's the town itself only has around seven or 800 people. It's a very small town right on the Wabash River. And they manage and maintain all of these old structures for us to come see. So that's the history of the town. That's why we're here. And that's what we're looking at. What I have lost is my bride. She went that way and I don't know where she ended up but these guys with leaf blowers and cleanup stuff they're really loud so I apologize for all the noise so I'm gonna go find her and see what else we can find studio was built in memory of someone who loved pottery. So this is a pottery studio. And we are going to attempt to get on the other side of this brick wall.
the uh, the people in town, the workers in town are doing a lot of cleaning, which I appreciate, but right now it's really loud and obnoxious. So this is called the Roofless Church. So let's check it out. Oh wow. Very pretty. You can see the mist over here. They're power washing the back side of this building. Well, or the wall. Interesting. It's kind of weird. Looks like just lots of gardens which is super cool if you like that thing That's strange. Huh. We're gonna go back here and turn around and see what we... So that's what it looks like through the main gate. All right, so I'm not very good at this, but let's walk through this park. I don't know if you can see it, but it says man and nature belong together and they created glory in their tragedy and in their salvation. It's very pretty. Look at all these really tall trees. We're walking together in this little bitty park. Showing them all these little bitty rocks that have really cool sayings on them as we walk. Look at him walking in front of us. How rude. I'm assuming it's the guy that the park is named after. His head's a little unproportioned. <laughs> Disproportioned. Yeah, I think so.
<laughs> you should stop doing that. I'm just checking. Where are you going? The park is this way. Are you wanting to go this way? Do you want to take over? No. This is your segment. You now have a new segment in our channel. Yeah, I told him I'm probably not very good at it, but... It's called A Moment with April. There he is. Paul. Paul Johannes Tillich. This is his park. It is really pretty. These trees are gorgeous. And they're not anywhere really in this town but here. So it really stands out. Like my shoes? Yeah. Do you like his shoes? They stand out too. They're really bright. I think there's one more really big rock that we haven't seen yet. Let's go see what it says. Says, go get some food. No, that's our next endeavor. Some of these are hard to read. He who tries to be without authority tries to be like God. You can see it. So don't be without authority. <laughs> because you ain't God. Alright, so now we're exiting and gonna go get some food. How do you feel about that, honey? I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. Alright, bye everyone. Is this where we want to be? Let's take these and go sit down. We will sit over here. So what do we have? Cool place. We getting, we getting, we getting, what are you getting, what are you getting, what are you getting? I don't know. What am I getting? What am I getting? What am I getting? What do you want? Dang it, lady, you're no help at all. What you got? Oh, yeah, sandwich. That looks pretty good. There's what I got. Sandwich, broccoli salad. Are you excited? Cool. Let's eat. My camera died for some dumb reason. So they were like a bunch of partiers. They uh, <laughs> they were older, a lot of silver, and it's noon on Monday, and they're all drinking beer and being loud. They were. So I don't know what that's all about, but <laughs> they were having a party. There was a lot of them. Eating sandwiches, drinking beer. <laughs> all right, you ready to go find something old? Yes. All right, here we go. I don't know what this is, but my bride said take a picture of it. Reluctant Saint. The Chapel of the Little Portions. The Chapel of Little Portions. The gentleman who made this was praying to God. Yeah. And God said, or he God about a bunch of old churches that were falling down. Yeah. And so he was building this until then. And then God told him to fix all the other churches. So then he started fixing all the other churches. And he quit working on this one? No, he, this was it. This, it's like a little prayer thing. Oh, it's like a prayer chapel thing. Yeah. I see. Yeah. And then after that, he right went by the pond. started fixing, like he fixed a whole bunch of churches. Nice. We're going to walk around the pond. So, little prayer chapel thing that some guy made. I don't know what this building is, but it's cool. Very pretty. And it looks across the field onto the Wabash River.
which is there. Very pretty. Neat place. I better catch up with Mama. She's leaving me behind. I found a bridge. But more interestingly, I found a big chair. That is a big chair. All right, go sit in the big chair. Okay. How do I look? Small. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's a great place. It's a big chair. It's Paul Bunyan's chair. <laughs> now we're gonna walk through town, see some of the old historic buildings. There's the old city building, now an antique store. It says Firehouse. Let's go check it out. Gone to post office, back in 10 minutes. I guess we'll come back later. <laughs> Just a little down here. Come back to that one. Yeah. Well, we leave. So they make soaps and lotions and everything here. Everything is made right here. Made here, sold here. So there's the name of the business and their website. Smells very flowery, fruity, pretty in here. Pretty cool store. She's buying everything. And then this is the same price, so I was gonna get it. Okay. Now what are you going to get? Are you guys like making a documentary here? Oh, we do a uh, YouTube channel. Okay. Just uh, wherever we travel, we video it and put it on YouTube. We do a lot of outdoor stuff, camping, that sort of thing. Cool. So if we go into businesses, we usually catch the name and I already caught your sign with the website and it goes on there too. Free publicity. <laughs> she just can't decide. These are tough decisions, I understand. I am being nice. All right, what all did she get? A bunch of soap, lotion. You'll get a lotion for free. And we get a lotion for free. Well, that's exciting. $42.75. Alright, how are you going to pay for this? You're paying for it. I'm paying for it. Dang. There you go. I just gave her my wallet. Just, how, do I, how do you want me to pay? I don't care, honey. You have all kinds of choices here. Yeah. New Harmony Working Men's Institute. Working Men's. I should be a member. Are going to the wrong bar? Well, we're going to find out. Close. Closed on Mondays. There looks like there would be a lot of history stuff in there. And we ain't going to get to see none of it. Well, shoot, man.
cheating? I don't know. Listen. It echoes. So it's a big maze. <clears throat> golf ball. I found a golf ball. I don't think you're supposed to go through the gates. You're supposed to go through the maze. But I did not. So we are leaving New Harmony. She's on her phone. I was checking it, our camera. She was checking weather or something. So, super cool town, nice history, a um, lot of really neat things to see, so cool place to come visit. If ever you're in southern Indiana and have a day to spend and want to catch up on a lot of history, I encourage you to come to New Harmony, Indiana and spend the day. Super nice people, super cool things to see. So, there's our little trip to New Harmony and what we did. Hope you enjoyed it.